Thousands joined French march against Islamophobia. Let's look at some of these pictures. There's only three. Then it goes, the article keeps, this is by the way, Yahoo News. I think they got it from somewhere else. Oh, it's from AFP. Okay. Several thousand people turned out for the march in Paris. Several thousand people turned out for the march in Paris. It keeps repeating itself. Oh, that's just a photo credit. Uh, in Paris, okay, according to AFP, over 10,000 people turned out north of Paris on Sunday for a march against Islamophobia that drew criticism from both the government and the far right. The far right, okay. We'll see if it's actually the far right or you're just labeling people that are against Islam as far right. Well, actually, I can't tell because you don't. We'll see. It was called following. It was called following last month's attack on a mosque in southern French, um, in southern French city of what Bayonne? Some okay, some city in France, by an eighty-year-old, eighty-four-year-old man, a former far-right activist who shot and wounded two men. Okay, that's yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty extreme. Holy fuck. Um, yeah. Okay, so. If it's in response to this crime, I, I I support these protests. I just wish they didn't call it Islamophobia. How, what do we have to do for people to call say anti-Muslim bigotry instead of Islamophobia? Islamophobia doesn't make any sense. Okay, I mean I'm not gonna explain that again. We have already discussed this many times in this channel. It's 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 okay to be against Islam. In fact, it's a good thing to be against Islam. It's not a good thing to be against Muslims. It's not a good thing. We have to we have to call it anti-Muslim bigotry. It really hurts fighting against anti-Muslim bigotry when you call it Islamophobia, right? Because as soon as you call it Islamophobia, everybody's going to dismiss your cause. Like, oh well, Islam. I'm I, I hate Islam. We're against Islam. So. Your march is nonsense, bullshit. But your march was a good thing if it was a response to this to this crime, right? Your your march would get more attention, more welcomed by people from more sides if you just. I would have supported this march if it was called anti-Muslim bigotry, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people in my community will also that are against Islam would support a march against Islam anti-muslim bigotry i would join me as an anti-islam critic as somebody that hates islam as somebody that wants to end islam i would join and support a march that is against anti-muslim bigotry okay it's hard for me to do that when you call it a march against islamophobia because i support anything that is against islam I don't support anything that is against Muslims, right? So let's continue. Many of the protesters ca uh, carried uh, placard placards. Is that how you say it? Sorry, English is my second language. Uh, denouncing attacks on Islam. Ooh, really? Really? Is that what your science said? Attacks. You denouncing attacks on Islam. Why can't you like the crime was an attack on a Muslim? And you're worried about Islam? Let me see what the signs say. Actually, I can't read the signs because they're in French. So never mind. Can you please, as as if if Muslims, if you, I don't know if these people are Muslims or just Muslim allies, but if you want to fight something, can you fight against attacks on Muslims instead of attacks on Islam? Is that not what matters? Is that not what prompted the this whole protest? Denouncing attacks on Islam, really? Which one do you think matters more? The fact that an 80-year-old, 84-year-old uh, man attacked two wounded mu uh, uh, two Muslim men? Or the fact that some people are just being too offensive about your precious ideology? Which one? Check your priorities. Which one matters more? My insult towards things that you believe in? Or the fact that two Muslims got wounded? Protest that. How, how, what is this, why would you, have, uh, anyways, a number of women taking part of wore traditional Muslim veils, while others had ad, um, adopted veils bearing the blue, white, and red colors of French flag, okay, 
Around 13,500 people attended the march. Wait, above there you said, over, okay, yeah, over 10,000. Okay, so more than, closer to 13,500 people attended the march, according to a count carried out by the, um, some consult, some group, some media group with a long name. The march was called by a number of individuals and organizations, including the Collective Against El Islamophobia in France. Holy crap, man. This organization has a really shitty name. Is that the name? In okay. Um, see, the, the problem with organizations like this is that, unfortunately, they, they might, okay, I'm not going to accuse people without knowing, they might be looking forward to crimes like this. And this is why they wouldn't address the actual cause of the crime. And they jump on, you know, trying to stop attacks on Islam instead of trying to stop attack on Muslims. Because attack on Muslims makes them relevant. You know, they need more hate. When, you, when your organization is about fighting hate, then you need more hate to become more relevant. Uh, so I'm not sure actually, I'm not going to make an accusation of this company without knowing them, but um, this could be uh, an, an unfortunate you know, result. So I'm going to continue reading. It also came as the debate went, it also came as the debate over the veil has been re uh, revived in France and against a background of several jihadist attacks in France in recent years. We came to, okay, so this is a quote from somebody in the march. We came to sound the alarm to say there is a level of hate you don't go beyond. One marcher, Larby, his name is, or her name is, a 35-year-old businessman told AFP. Okay, that's fine. If it's actually against hate against Muslims, not against Islam, I'll support you, Larby. Let's see the second quote. Another person said, we are open to criticism. Oh, but you mustn't go beyond certain limits of aggression. Yes, yes, thank you. So attack on Islam is fine. Attack on Muslims are not fine. Yeah, criticism, fine. Aggression, not fine. So that second quote, I agree with. Let, let's see the la next quote. Scandalous propaganda. Who's the, I don't understand what this is. We want to be heard. So another quote says, we want to be heard, not pushed to the edge of society. Fair. That's fair. Um... This is by Asame, a veiled woman from the suburbs of Paris, told AFP, yeah, you, be her you should support Islam and promote Islam and be heard and you could hear us as well or not hear us if you don't wish to, like, and we are against Islam and we want to be heard as well. We could, all of us, we could talk without being aggressive towards each other, right? Then another quote we have from Pro to say, you hear a lot of nonsense about Islam. Oh, there we go. Now a quote that I can't agree with. You hear a lot of nonsense about Islam and about veiled women today. The 29-year-old who works as an engineer in the car industry added. Okay, really? Is that, your, is that where your priority is? Two human beings were attacked. Muslims or not, doesn't matter. Two human beings were attacked and you're worried about how your precious religion looks? It's not about your religion. It's about not attacking people. Get your pri what, what, Why does it matter if some, if we're just speaking? We're not. If people are just talking about Islam, they're not hurting anybody. Get over it. Just get the fuck over it. Okay? It's just words. Get your. If you're marching, march for those people that were attacked by an asshole, right wing asshole. I don't know. Alt right wing. I don't know. March against that. Don't march against being offended because people are talking shit about your religion. Is that where the priority is? Next quote. Let's see if we can get something better from the march. With or without the veil, we are sick of being the last in line. Well, if you are last in line, that's fair. Okay? Uh, if people are being... Okay, so I support Fra French laws if they want to keep the you know veil out of like public places and stuff. But if people are being mistreated because they have the veil... Um, then and being you being tra treated as second-class citizens and stuff like that. Yeah, I, that's shitty I don't know if you're being if that's happening or not um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it is but if that's what you're referring to then yeah uh, Said a nurse who was this a nurse Najed who says she has campaigned in Algeria against pressure to wear the veil there Oh, so this person is being pretty consistent. That's pretty good Good, good, good. That's, I support this quote. 
Let's see what the next one is saying. I chose to wear it, but it hurts me that those who wear it are picked on, she added. Okay, yeah, that's fair. In the southern city of Marceline, Sunday, several hundred of people staged a similar demonstration carrying pl placards. Is that how you say? That read Islof Islamophobia kills. No, it. F okay. If by Islamophobia mean you mean Islamophobia is a nonsense term. I we already talked about it. I'm not going to go over that. But saying shit against Islam doesn't kill. In fact. If you create pe peaceful ways for people to shit on Islam, then you get less people joining the alt-right because we're creating a peaceful avenue for people to um, voice their concerns or their criticism, right? The more you try to tell people that what they can't talk about, the more you're pushing them away towards extreme. It's, it's, so I say like opposite, if, that, if that's what you're meaning, right? And shouting, we are ch okay. Another one was, we are ch all children of the republic. Oh, you mean the fr France? That's fair. You should all be treated equally because you're citizens of France, and nobody should treat you have, like second-class citizens. But it's not Islamophobia that kills; it's anti-Muslim bigotry that kills. All right, so let's continue. Okay, let me see. Claudia, Claudine, a seventy-six-year-old. Uh, what oh pensioner i don't know came with a group of oh mm, group of the radical left what is this word sorry english is my second language what is this pensioner pensioner a person who receives a pensioner really they have a name for people that receive pensions came with a group of ra of the radical left Radical left. Wow, this this article is actually believes in radical left. Okay, with uh, of the radical left work um, loot something in French worker struggle party. So what is what what do we want to? Okay, so Claudine says this is a quote from Claudine. There is a scandalous propaganda waged against Muslims. She said, adding that jihadist terrorism was deliberately equated with Islam. What? No! Okay, oh my god, this is a, one of those woke people. Jihadist terrorism is part of Islam. Sorry, Claudine. Read, a, read the fucking Quran, and then once you're done with that, read the fucking Hadith, and then you see that you're part of the propaganda, the people that are telling you that Islam supports um, jihadist terrorism are actually being honest and spreading the truth and that's not a propaganda against muslims that's a that's the truth against islam because guess what most muslims do not follow islam so you know how you do you see how, how she switched it like oh there, there's a propaganda wage against muslims and then she talks about how people like me have a view against islam so you know how you see how they ch in, ex keep using islam and muslim interchangeably as if they're the same thing even though most muslims don't really follow islam so this is the this is the trick this is their propaganda because they want to make it seem like our hate against islam means that we must be you know doing propaganda against muslims which we're not we're not most most muslims are better than islam just like most christians are better than christianity just like more most hindus are better than hinduism just like most most even religious jewish people are better than judaism okay Let's continue. France has between 5 and 6 million Muslims, according to the latest studies, which makes it the second largest religion in the country uh, and the largest Muslim community in Europe. But France is fiercely um, protective of secular principles. Well, good job, France, uh, of its constitution and banning the wearing of religious symbol in state schools, for example. So all religious symbols, right? See how they're consistent they're being? But only one religious group of people seems to be feel like they're being attacked, even though they're being very consistent about all religious symbols. Let's continue. Last week, the Socialist Party formally distanced itself from the demonstration, objecting to, to a reference to oppressive laws concerning Muslims. 
um, thought by some to be reference to the 2004 law banning the wearing of veils in schools. So these people need to get their priorities right, right? You should protest against the this, these Muslims being attacked, you should, and you shouldn't use this as an opportunity to protest the law because then you seems like you don't you don't understand the priorities, right? Like oh. Attacking and shooting Muslims. Oh, so sad. Yeah, it is so sad. And then you're like, oh, we can't wear um, our religious symbols in public places. Oh, so sad. As if like they're the same, same problem. Like as if like they're remotely the same. No. Focus on what matters. Focus on attacking anti-Muslim bigotry. Let's continue. It said it would. Uh, so I agree. If they if they use that attack as a way to protest this law then that's pretty screwed up because the priorities are not in the right place and yeah so good job the government anyways continue it said it would organize its own demonstration at a later date okay good critics also accuse some of the so this socialist party is like we're going to do our own demonstration but what would that demonstration be about critics also accuse some of the 50 original signatories to the petition calling for the march of having links to political islam including the ccif itself seems like a legitimate concern a number of the far left politicians i'm actually pretty impressed that this article is actually saying far left there are a lot of uh, woke people that think far left doesn't even exist all right, so let's continue. A number of far left politicians, including um, John, I don't know how to pronounce French names, the firebrand leader of France, um, Unbowed Party, nevertheless joined the Paris rally on Sunday. Several members of the government, meanwhile, made it clear they had no sympathy for the march. Good. If the, if the march is being misused, using Muslim, see, these are so called p defenders of Muslims that are using attacks on Muslims to to for some other political agenda, which is pretty pretty fucked up. Uh, I mean, if these accusations are true, and no, we can't be sh for certain, of course. Um, okay, Gabriel, something, a, a, ju a junior minister with responsibility for young people, denounced the denounced. The, what he said was the op opportunism of those left-wing politicians supporting the march yes okay so it seems like it seems like i'm right i don't know because you know you know but it seems like what i what i assume to be happening here some other people are saying as well and this so like some people are just using using attacks on muslims to just make political statements and um and elizabeth born Junior Minister of Ecology said the march was only setting people against each other. Marine Le Pen, leader of the far-right national, national rally, also condemned the march in a tweet Sunday. Radical Islamism had killed far more Muslims in France than Islamophobia, she argued. This reveals the extent of your fraud, she added. It's not about counting bodies, to be fair, to be honest. Like, I don't agree with the Marine Le Pen tweet as well. If something is a problem, it's a problem, right? The problem with the march is that they're attacking "quote unquote" Islamophobia instead of anti-Muslim bigotry. If you, if you, if if we had a legit march against anti-Muslim bigotry, the fact that is, it wouldn't matter that some something else killed more people. Your the problem that you have a march against doesn't have to be the worst fucking problem on your in your country for you for you to have, for it to be worth having a march against. So if it was a march against anti-Muslim bigotry and anti-Muslim bigotry does kill, even if it kills only one person, that's still worth having a march against, right? You don't have to compete like, oh, no, you can't have a march because your cause, the thing that you're having a march against hasn't killed as much as this other thing. Really, it has to be the... He has to have the highest body counts for you to have a march? No, so I don't agree with Marine Le Pen. The problem with the march is that it's not fighting anti-Muslim bigotry, it seems, I don't know. It seems to be mostly fighting against people like me, who are critics of Islam. Um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to look at the comments. We posted this on Axis Republic. I'm just going to, uh, Facebook page, I'm just going to read the top comment. James is saying, let's get one thing absolutely 100% straight. Criticizing a religion is not hate. Um, acts or words against a person or people can be hate if they harm or threaten, but not against a system of belief. 
that remains very much on the table. That's called freedom, and it's what we fight to enjoy. Great job, James. It's a, that's, that's why you're the top comment. Good comments. All right. <clears throat> 